Well, what is organic outreach? When I think of organic outreach, and I've been thinking about this for about 25 years, it's simply the idea of, of us learning how to naturally share the love of Jesus, share the message of Jesus everywhere we go, all the time. It's not so much about a program, it's about a lifestyle. And when I think about it, a picture comes to my mind from some years ago when my sons were quite young. I don't remember the exact years. They were probably about five, seven, and nine years old. And they came to me and to my wife, Sherry, and they said, hey, can we go to the Byron Center Parade? At the time, we lived in West Michigan, and I'd never been to a small town parade before. My boys said, we got to go to the Byron Center Parade. And I thought to myself, I don't really want to go, and no one's going to be there. It's a small town, small little parade. And, and I said, well, to my boys, you know, who's going to this thing? They said, everybody. And they were right. The entire town was there. I think they bust people in from Door and Wayland and all the other small towns around there for this, this crazy little parade in Byron Center, Michigan. And as I watched the parade, and, and you know, it wasn't spectacular. It wasn't, it wasn't really, uh, there weren't great floats. It wasn't the Rose Parade, let me tell you that. But it was very simple. But everyone in town was there. And I'm thinking, why is everyone here? What are, and the kids were sitting on the edge of the curb waiting, sometimes three, four kids deep, excited for the parade. I couldn't put the pieces together. And then the parade started, and immediately I figured it out. One word, candy. On every single float, there were kids and adults with buckets and bags of candy, and they would, they would scatter the candy out, throw it to the kids in the crowd, and the kids had a great time collecting candy. That was pretty much the focus of the parade, candy collection. As I watched the parade... This is what struck me. There were two kinds of kids on these floats. There was the kid that looked into their candy bag or bucket and was very sparing. They would look into their bucket as they're moving down the parade route. They would grab one piece of candy. They'd look for just the right kid out there. They'd wait for the right kind of wind movement, and they'd aim, and they might, might throw one piece of candy passing 50 or 100 kids. There were some kids that were so sparing and cautious with their candy that I think when the parade was over, their bag was pretty much full still. But there were kids who were just candy-scattering machines. They would grab him both fists, take the candy, and just throw it out to the kids. And you know what? Everyone loved those kids. They were just chucking candy everywhere. There was a generosity, a liberality, an excitement, a joy in scattering candy. When I think of organic outreach, I think of that image, that God wants us to ride through the parade of life scattering seed, not sparingly waiting to throw one seed, one candy at one moment to just the right time, but generously, freely scattering seed. I, I think of this amazing passage found in Luke chapter 8, beginning in verse 4. While a large crowd was gathering and people were coming to Jesus from town after town, he told them this parable, this story. A farmer went out to sow his seed, and as he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, it was trampled on, and birds ate it up. Some fell on the rocky ground, and when it came up, the plants withered because they had no moisture. Other seed fell among the thorns, which grew up and choked it out. Still other seed fell on good soil, and it came up and yielded a crop, a hundred times more than was sown. Jesus goes on to say, if you have ears to hear, hear, listen to this story. Now, oftentimes we focus on the soil. I want to think about the seed and the sower. I think the picture is this. Here's this farmer. Here's this sower who doesn't sow like a regular farmer. He doesn't do it right at all. Farmers are careful with their seed. It's expensive. It's their, it's their life. But this farmer just scatters and scatters and scatters freely. On, on ground that doesn't look ready, on ground with weeds, on ground that's rocky and hard, and yet the, the, the sower scatters the seed. I think that's a picture of organic outreach. It's not about figuring out the exact moment, the exact soil condition, the exact temperature, the exact wind, and throwing one seed. It's about throwing seed everywhere we go. It becomes a natural part of our lives, sharing the love and the grace and the message of Jesus at all times, everywhere we go. That's organic outreach. I think about my own life. When someone came along, my sister Gretchen, and began to scatter seed, I didn't look like good soil. When someone came along, a guy named Doug Drainville, and scattered seed on my life, I probably looked like a rock-hard path with nothing, nothing would penetrate my heart. But my heart was ready 
You couldn't see it on the outside. I didn't look like good soil. And yet I was. So I want to encourage you to make your life a life of organic outreach. And just a couple of words of encouragement. Number one, it's not about a program. Don't try to memorize a bunch of stuff. I mean, know the Bible, have a heart for Jesus, but look at it as a lifestyle. It's not a thing I do when I go on a mission trip or once a week or once a month. I want to scatter the love and the grace and the message of Jesus all the time, everywhere I go. Number two, organic outreach is for everyone. Some people have special passions and abilities around outreach, but if you know Jesus, if you love Jesus, if he lives within you and if he's forgiven you, you can scatter seed. You can love and serve and share your story and his story. Also, I want you to know this. There's many ways to scatter. And organic outreach, that whole, the whole approach to sharing our faith, gives lots of tools and skills for sharing the message of Jesus. But there's many ways to do it. You might, you might bring the gospel by serving people, and as God opens the door, you share the story of Jesus. You might build friendships and walk with people. You might invite them to church or invite them to, to an event where they're going to hear about Jesus. And when the moment's right, you articulate your faith. There's no one right way to share this life-changing message of Jesus. There's hundreds of ways. Find your way and do it naturally in a way that's organic for you. But finally, I would say this. Organic outreach always involves words. There's a point where faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God and by the words you speak in the name of Jesus. So be ready to share your story. Tell your testimony how you came to faith in Jesus how you heard the story of his grace, his love, his death on the cross, him taking your sins, dying, rising in glory, and offering forgiveness. Share your story. Share his story. Oftentimes, uh, there's a quote that's thrown out there. It's usually attributed to St. Francis of Assisi, although he probably didn't say it. And the quote is this, share the gospel at all times. When necessary, use words. I've always disliked that quote because the people who use that quote are basically saying, I want to scatter the gospel of Jesus, but I never want to use words. Ed Stetzer, actually in an article I read a while back and was really touched by, he said, you know, saying these words, share the gospel at all times when necessary use words, is a lot like saying, feed the hungry at all times, and when necessary, use food. It's ridiculous. You always need food to feed the hungry, and you always need words to share Jesus. So find your way. Love, serve, care, do works of justice, build relationships. But there comes a point where you naturally, freely share your story of how you come to know Jesus, his power and presence in your life, sharing his story of the gospel, and then let the Holy Spirit do what only he can do, change hearts and lives. Well, that's a quick intro to what is organic outreach. I hope you learn to live it and learn more about it. God bless you.